Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, obviously it's Monday, obviously it, means, it only means one thing. That is my Premier League predictions for week 7. Now for the first time this season, I'm going to do all 10 fixtures. Um, so obviously that also means my local rival, my, I won't say local rivals, my team's rivals will be involved. We are involved, all the games are involved, and I'll try and go up to all 10, even though it's slightly impossible for me to do so, so don't expect me to get more work. But guys, anyway, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk to you about is Bournemouth versus Palace. Now Bournemouth, um, didn't have exactly a good weekend away to Burnley. Um, 4-0 uh, lost um, I'm expecting them to trump it that way in this game um, Palace haven't been that strong um, at home uh, they missed that good chance um, this uh, weekend just gone so I'm going to go with a 3-0 Bournemouth win because um, I think Bournemouth are going to want to put that right as well as um, you know, just say that Burnley game was a blip. Um, the second game is Newcastle Leicester. Now, Newcastle ain't having the best of seasons. Uh, they still going at uh, that protest with Mike Ashley. Uh, they want him out. Um, but can that cause trouble on the pitch? Uh, with a team like Leicester. I'm thinking it's going to. I'm going to go with a 2 1 Leicester win with that one. Um, I just think Leicester will uh, turn up on the day and maybe surprise Newcastle just a little bit. Um, the third game is my local team as well from Brighton. We go up against Manchester City away. Now, um, where do we go with this? I mean, a lot of us, even now, I would say a lot of us have gone up there um, expecting a, well, a whipping, um, you know, 5 6 in our city. Um, but I'm going to give my club a benefit of the doubt. Um, I probably would do from a natural point of view, anyways. But I'm going to go with a 3 0 city win. Uh, I don't think we'll win it, I don't think it's going to be easy, but I don't think we'll, we'll get, um, you know, put aside anyway. Um, we went to Liverpool earlier this season, we only lost 1-0, and that was by a stoppy goal, which is a good result for us. So yeah, as I've just said, Man City 3-0 win. Um, the next game is Wolves versus Southampton. Now, Southampton, yet again, lost this weekend. Um, yet again, ain't had the best of starts. Going up a very good positive Wolves. Um, they're proving the Premier League right. So I'm going to back up with a Wolves win here. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 Wolves win. Um, now... This is one of the big games of the weekend. Chelsea versus Liverpool at Stamford Bridge. Um, now you've got you've got Liverpool with a hundred percent record. Um, you've got Chelsea that just drew to West Ham um, at the London Stadium. I don't think they're too happy about that, but it happened. So for with this one, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go with a one-all scoreline. Um, I think Chelsea are going to want to try and put critics wrong and I I think Liverpool are going to try and hold their 100% record so I'm expecting a bit of counter attacking from um, Liverpool and I'm also expecting a lot of attacking of Chelsea the next game is Huddersfield versus Spurs um, Spurs just beat Brighton uh, 2-1 um, you know it's it's gonna I think Spurs will win again I'm, I'm just gonna go with a 3-0 scoreline 
purely because the pallets feel played the way they did down here, let them knock the ball around. They could have had more than the two rods which they got. Uh, the next game is another big game for this club this weekend uh, coming up. It's West Ham vs Manchester United. Now West Ham, yep, they pick up a point against Chelsea. But do I think they're going to be too fluent and expect the same again? Even though I think their fans will expect the same. I'm expecting West Ham to either turn United. Um, no word of a lie. I think United are going to go out there and actually go, you know what? We've got the team, we've got the money. Let's just, just go out and play on West Ham ain't going to allow it. So I'm going to stick my neck on the line. I'm going to go with a West Ham 1 0 win. Um, but. It's going to be an interesting game to see how it goes, none of these. Now the next game is Arsenal versus Watford at the Emirates Stadium. Now Arsenal just come with a 2-0 win over Everton. Um, you know, go up against a very good Watford side this season. I know they slipped a little bit uh, after they lost to United. But I'm still saying that they're going to you know, give Arsenal a real game. Um, you know, they just drew with Fulham. Uh, had lots of chances to put it away, but didn't. So, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a two-one Arsenal uh, win with this one. Uh, the next one, like it's Everton versus Fulham. The um, now, yet again, as I've just mentioned, Fulham are, um, you know, just came off with a draw against uh, Watford, and Everton have just came off a defeat to Arsenal. Now, yet again, Everton are going to want to put this right. So, I'm going to back with an Everton home win here. I'm going to go with a 1 0 scoreline. Um, but it's going to be an interesting game nonetheless. Um, now, the last game of this weekend um, is Cardiff versus Burnley. Now, Cardiff are struggling in, in the Premier League and Burnley have just kicked off the mark. So, I'm, I reckon Burnley are ready now. Um, now, if you play Burnley, well, hey, you know, you play them at the right time. Now it's going to be a struggle to pick up three points against Burnley, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, they've had all the um, negative, and, but overturning Bournemouth 4-0, it's not easy um, to do that. So I'm going to back it with a Burnley win here, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 Burnley win. Anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, that's all 10 fixtures. What do you want me to do? So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.